you were being a little bit modest and saying you didn't, you know, invent the horror film. But on the other hand, there weren't marketing focus groups or letters streaming into studios saying, I want to see more Edgar Allan Poe on the screen. That was your invention and your idea. Um, could you talk a little bit about how you first came to Poe, how you found Edgar Allan Poe? I had read in school, actually, I think it wasn't even high school, I think it was junior high school, in an English class, uh, The Fall of the House of Usher, and loved it. And uh, I asked my parents for the complete works of Edgar Allan Poe for Christmas. They were delighted to give it to me. I could have asked for a shotgun or something. <laughs> uh, and I always wanted to make uh, specifically the fall of the House of Usher, and I talked to AIP, American International, a company I was working with, into doing uh, Usher. Uh, we, I, they had a policy of sending out two 10-day black and white films as double features, two teenage films, two horror science fiction, two horror, and they wanted to make, uh, make two uh, of these, and I said, let me have double the money, and it was something a little under $200,000, and I want 15 days, I want to be in the big time here, and uh, I want to shoot in color, and it was the fall of the House of Usher. So once um, you made that film and, and started working with Vincent Price, did it just seem that natural that he would be right for the subsequent films in the in the cycle? Vincent was my choice uh, from the beginning of writing the script. He uh, was a character star, not a handsome Robert Taylor at that time, uh, leading man. He'd always been a star, a character star. He was getting a little bit older, and he portrayed uh, a certain intelligence with a quirky, neurotic uh, uh, quality that fit Roderick Usher. So how, can you talk a little bit about the production of The Pit and the Pendulum? Um, we were talking briefly about the special effects in the film, and actually the truth is there are no special effects. There are, there are no real special effects. There are two mat shots. There's a painting of the house uh, at the beginning, and there's a painting later on of the depth of the uh, of the pit. Everything else was completely natural. I, I mentioned uh, earlier we built this giant pendulum that was attached to almost as high as here, actually almost as high as that, from the ceiling, and it was to come down and swing back and forth, getting lower and lower and lower. And John Carr, the young lead, was strapped to a platform, and the pendulum eventually was to cut through his shirt and cut through just lightly. Uh, we put a little ketchup in there that it cut, uh, <laughs> that it cut his chest. And John was standing next to me as uh, the prop men were working with this. And he said, Roger, do you, do you think that thing is really safe? And I thought, oh, oh I can see a problem possibly coming up. I said, John, it is absolutely safe. I'll show you. I'll get on the platform. We have to rehearse it fully anyway. We'll rehearse with me. I got under the thing. It started coming down. And I thought, maybe John is right. I'm not, I'm not so <laughs> certain. <laughs> but I survived, and John survived. Well, you always talk about the, uh, the success of your films. And, and I think sometimes you mean you know, how successful they are at the box office, but, um, but you also talk about their success artistically. How does the pit and the pendulum figure in your estimation in terms of uh, uh, as a success in it your career? It fits into really the way I would describe motion pictures. I think motion pictures are the true, and you can include television, any concept of the moving image. I think they are the true modern art form, partially because they are, for the first time, an art form of movement, but also because they are an art and a business. And uh, what is difficult is to try to combine it. Uh, I wasn't try. I never thought of myself as working as an artist. I thought of, of working as a craftsman. I'll do the best I can as a craftsman if occasionally something approaches the level of art that's great, but I want to work as a craftsman. And uh, The Pit and the Pendulum is an example of that, of taking a subject uh, 
that is maybe not fully commercial because there were certain elements of Poe that uh, he himself, of course, was a great writer and a great artist, uh, and that possibly elevated to a high level of craft.